how you doing? It's Jeff Sinker from SkypeGuitarLessonsOnline.com. Great to see you all again. I hope you're all doing really, really well. Back on Lucky Iron Maiden, and this was requested by one of my subscribers, asked if I could show you how to play Coming Home. Uh, I thought about it because it's such a really good fun riff at the beginning. It, uh, I wouldn't say it's too challenging, but it does have certain parts that really are going to get you a little bit uh, of a workout. As you saw in that little intro, there's some shifts as we move up and down the fretboard. It's a relatively simple song to put together. Not that many parts to it, as you'll see as we go through the lesson. For this lesson, I am not going to be covering the guitar, so I just want to keep this nice and simple, this part. There is a second guitar line through the intro, which I'm going to put together, and I'm just going to put that on the premium channel, along with the backing track that I've created for this, so you can have some fun playing either Dave Murray or Adrian Smith, whichever way you want. Now, if this is your first time to the site, great to see you. Sure, you're going to enjoy it. If you're an Iron Man fan, really, this is the site you want to be at, and I'm sure my other subscribers will back me up on this one. Lots of maiden tunes, lots of tunes as well. So, what you should be doing click on that subscribe button, click on that bell, that way, you'll be notified of any new video lessons that I'm posting here, and uh, of course, you'll have my undying gratitude. It's great to have your support. Keep the requests coming. Um, just keep putting them out there for me. Uh, they all go on the list and I do get through to them all. And of course, if you've got any questions that you'd like to ask me about uh, an Iron Maiden or any general thing in, to do with the guitar at all, just drop me a line and uh, maybe I'll turn that into a lesson. Anyway, I'm going to shut up because people keep telling me I'm talking too long. So, well, let's get into the song and let me show you how to play Coming Home by Iron Maiden. So don't Go away. Preview. Right, let's get straight into that intro riff. I'll give you the notes and we'll just break it down as we're playing through. We start off with this phrase. What I'm doing there, I'm playing open E string, then I'm doing A10 and I'm doing a D9 and then back, so I'm going. So it's E string, A string, D string, A string. That is the pattern that we're going to be playing as we move down the guitar. So, open E, 10, 9, 10. We go back to the open E string and this time we're going to play 9 and 7 across the A and D. Move down to frets and we're going to be playing 5 and, sorry, 7 and 5. And the final part, we go back to the five on the D. So the final one. So it's E, A, D, A, D. So if we put that phrase together nice and slow. That's your first one. Next movement, we repeat that same phrase, but we don't go back to the D, we're just going to play across 7 uh, on the A, 5 on the D, and then back down to the 7, so we get, then we're going to do a 5 and 4 across the A and the D, same picking thing, move down and it's 3 and 2, going back to the 2, so that one, Open up the next one with the same phrase across three and two, going back this time, of course, to the A. Now, on this one, we're gonna play open E string onto the two on the A, and then an open string, D. So we get. Now we're gonna go onto five fret on the E string, and we're gonna play five, three, five, three, across the A, uh, E and the A. So the next one is across E, three, two, three. Then we go and just put our first finger now on second fret on the A string, and we're gonna play. 
and then we play open E and then it's five, three, five, three. So I'll put them together. So that is the first rundown. Now, this is where the big stretch comes in on this next section. We are actually playing uh, triads. We're playing an F major triad, first of all, which is going one, five, crossing over to three. Then we move up two frets, so we're on the third fret, and we play the same shape again, so we're playing a G major triad, so we're doing three, seven, five. Now we're gonna play a minor triad from the five fret, and we're gonna play five, eight, seven. Move up two frets, same minor triad shape again, but this one's got a little bit, because we repeat this one, we go seven, 10, nine, and repeat seven, 10, nine, and then back to the 10. So we get. And then we repeat. Now let's look at the verse section, which is going through a clean guitar. Let me just play it through and then I'll break it down. straightforward. Um, what I want to do is just go through the chords first, uh, that way if you find it a little bit hard to follow the picking you can just play over the chords because there isn't a big guitar that just strums this pattern through. You have got an E minor first of all, going to a G, you can also play that way if you're doing the strumming on that, which is a second guitar, A minor, and then this chord up here, is a C add nine chord. Now the picking pattern that is being used in this is open E to two on the D, and then we're gonna play open B, open G, and then we go to the E, B, G, and then down to the two on the D. Move up to the G major, we're gonna play the root note, we're gonna play on the E string, and then we got D, and then we got B to G, and then down. So it's E, B, G, D. A minor, you just gotta go all the way down the strings and all the way back to the D string. So we just over that A minor chord, A, D, G, B, E, B, G, D. Then we move up to the C add nine chord. Easiest way to play that is your third finger on D10, second finger on G9, first finger on the B9, and little finger on the 10 on the high E. And you're just gonna be playing the picking pattern there is D, G, B, G, then E, back down to the B, G, and then B. And then we're back to. As I said, there is another guitar that is just strumming behind. behind over that progression there. From there we go back on the overdrive guitars and we're into the pre-chorus. So let's go and check that out. 
So I'll just play it through and then I will break it down for you. <laughs> So again, fairly straightforward on this. We are playing over a D5 chord, and the pattern we're going to play is so, and we're going to do that pattern all the way through on this section where we've got the usual gallop, the Iron Maiden gallop, and then the last one is a chord change. And the first part is D to a C. Then we go to an E5. Then we got a G, which I'm playing across on the, the D string. So I'm playing five and seven on the D and G. Back to the D5. So B, e, G, D. And we repeat that. So that goes round again. So we're going to do that four times. On the fourth time, we're sitting there on the seven, or on the D5, we go in. And we're gonna play on the open A string, I'm playing O to three. And then back down again. Then three on the E, two, and then an open. And then I've got a C5 chord. across to a D5 chord. And that is your pre-chorus section, which of course takes us straight into the chorus. So let's go and check out what's happening on that part. Now for the chorus, there are two separate guitar parts. And what I'm gonna do, first of all, I'm gonna take you through the power chords that are being played by Dave Murray. So I'm just gonna play it through and then I'll break it down, explain to you exactly what chords are being played there. Again, fairly simple. We're just playing on the one count and the three count for most of it. We're going to start off with an E5, going to a G5, to a C5, back to an E5, to a C5, to an E5. And then we've got this D. So when I'm playing there, I'm playing a D5, and then I'm doing all two on the A to a C5. Then we go back to E, G, C, E, C, E, and that thing again. Now, let's have a look what Adrian Smith is doing behind these power chords. So let's play it through and then we'll break it down. We're going to be starting off on the A string 7th fret and we're going to play 7, 9 and the 10. Cross over and we're going to play the same three notes. So it's 7, 9 and 10 and then we're going to do 10, 9, 7. Cross over to the 7. So, so far we've got That one is 797. 
and then seven, nine, ten, all on the D string. And you go back and you repeat the whole riff through all over again. And then from there, that takes us back to another verse. The good news is, you've actually now covered all of the guitar parts that are played through the song. You've got your intro, you've got the verse, which was the clean, pre-chorus, chorus. That's all of the elements. The guitar solos are played over the verse and then over a pre-chorus section. So there's nothing new, there's no ribbons to learn behind the lead guitar. There is a different guitar line on the intro, creating a harmony, which I will throw up and I will put it on my uh, premium channel, which will also have the backing track and also all the tabs for this. So with the backing track, you can really practice your timing when you're playing that intro. And that's the main thing, is to get that timing, well, especially when you're doing that movement up the front board. But nice, easy song to learn, not too hard, apart from that beginning bit, which will get you stretching your fingers. Well, I hope you've enjoyed learning how to play Coming Home by I Men. Uh, great request, I enjoy playing it, and I'm sure you're going to enjoy learning it. But for now, I'm going to let you go. So this is Jeff Sinker from SkypeGuitarLessonsOnline.com. Wishing you well, thanks for your company. And I'll see you again real soon. Until then, goodbye. <laughs>